Hi, now we'll be doing autopilot. It's very easy. You'll be using the navigation tab right here or the throttle. Um, you push it down once for cruise control and push it down twice for autopilot. Um, on the screen right here, your speed will be at the bottom. If you push it down once, that'll go into cruise control mode. If you push it down twice right now, you'll see autopilot. So here we go. While we're driving, we're doing pretty good. There's that spot, so that's really small speed limit right there. If you push down once, you go to cruise control. So the vehicle will maintain the car distance right there. If you push it down twice, you'll hear audible sound and you'll engage in autopilot while that steering wheel is available. So once you have two clear lines, the steering wheel will become available. And you push down twice for autopilot like this. Now you're engaged in autopilot. The car will maintain a car distance based on what you have saved. So see in front, I'm not pushing the brakes or anything. And the vehicle is slowing down into a stop. That's basically how autopilot works. So while we're driving, I'll show you something here. That's the speed limit. To increase the speed, you roll this wheel. You roll it up once. Increase it by one. If you roll it up really fast, it will increase your speed by increments of five. If you roll it down like this, it will go down in increments of one or five. So you're rolling up, we're going up by one. If you rolled up hard, it goes up by five. While you're in a residential area, the speed limit will limit you to only five above it. We're still in autopilot, right? Um, I want to show you lane change, but it's very simple. It shows the cars that are right next to you. All you're going to do is turn on your indicator. If you press it down once and it's clear, it's gonna maintain that car distance. The vehicles, once it's clear, the vehicle will change lanes for you. So I'll try that on my way back. And here we go. We are good. The, the steering wheel's right there. Push down twice for autopilot and good. So now in order to change lanes, all I have to do is turn my indicator on. My indicator's on, the vehicle will show that it's clear for me to change lanes, and then that's it. It will take the indicator off. If I want to change lanes again, turn the indicator all the way down, and it will see that it's clear, and it will change lanes for me, just like that. It's very simple. If you hit the brakes, you get off autopilot. If you steer the wheel, if you turn the steering wheel a little too hard, you will get off autopilot. It's just like a manual override. So I wanted to show you um, regenerative braking. So if you take your foot off the brake, the vehicle will slow down very, like, very quick. Um, so the only time you really need to hit the brakes is if you're like at a stop sign like this. Um, the car is also extremely quick. It doesn't have to rev up um, to get into gear. So it, as soon as you touch the the gas or let's say the throttle, the vehicle will go like at 100%. So it has 100% uh, torque as soon as you hit it. So it's extremely quick and nimble. Why? This is why the Model 3 is so fun to drive. So as soon as I hit the gas, it goes extremely quick. I'm already at 45. So uh, if you're not a speed demon, then you probably won't use that feature um, much. But see, if I take my foot off the, the gas, it will slow down extremely quick.